don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, welcome back to the next part of the Archon quest. Last time we broke another hidden rule and we got a weird substance in a bottle that looks like blood. So we're just gonna continue hey, to investigate. Isn't that Vidak over there? Huh? Is it just Paimon, or are there fewer people than usual here today? Uh, maybe they're out doing some other stuff. Ah, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. My goal has become the next Duke. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Like, which pipe? You gotta be more specific. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Oh, that's not good. Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. That might be the weird meat and the uh, red liquid uh, that we got. I already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. Is that really true? There's still a chance that we saw isn't connected to the cannibals. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Fair enough. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Even if it's true, do you really think cannibals could take me in a fight? True! So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Alright, then just like before, let's go <laughs> let's get ready to investigate another hidden roll. <sighs> when will all the secrets end? Yeah, how many are there? Maybe gotta look through the book to figure out how much is left. Oh, that's a lot of people. But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them. <laughs> what do you got to say for Just yourself? Just stay away from me. Uh, okay. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Oh, we're saying like, hey, have you heard of these cannibals that are going around? Okay, that's understandable why he told us to go away. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. I recognize that voice from another NPC. Hmm. I don't know which Their one. attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. It's pretty obvious that they're hiding something. Could they be connected? I But if they're being so obvious know. about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Let's approach it from a different angle. We'll probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? <coughs> okay, if you uh, say so. Apologies. Oh, uh, my goodness. 
Ask the guard at the dormitories. Okay. Hello, Fielding. Oh, we're gonna ask our boss? What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. You know what? There's a lot more than just working, okay? We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh, well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Nice one, Paimon. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. Well, at least he kind of cares for our sleep. You know what, Fielding? You're alright. You might be a little hard-ass sometimes, now but you're you alright. Right. I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. I would imagine. I'm sure that's really gross. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? They just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Nice. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. If that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. That's don't fair. Worry. We, don't we got it. We got it. Time added to our sentences. <laughs> right? Yeah. True. Oh, he left. So, what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active, but it might also be nothing. All right. Both are a possibility, but Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No reason not to find out the truth for ourselves. I knew you would say that. All right, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. I just hopes the guards don't catch us. I'm sure we'll be fine. Return to the dormitory and wait. Okay, I can do that. Wait, is there? Oh. I thought I saw something shiny. Never mind. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. We just need to wait until everyone else has fallen asleep. If you miss our chance tonight, it'll be a while. True. Well, it's a good Whatever. point. Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Looks like the traveler's dozing off. Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? <laughs> oh. Okay. You zoom in. Are we sneaking around? What are you up to? Oh, the... Something is calling me, I have to go. Where is that at? Traveler, come on, wake up! I, I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looked like you were just peacefully sleeping to Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? 
Investigating the pipes tonight is the right call. Child escaped via the pipes. Did he really escape? Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Do I have to sneak around? Is this like another stealth section? Oh, I hope not. Go to... okay. Go to where the rumored pipes are? Shh! Careful! We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us! Okay, what do you want me to do about that? I guess we just walk around them, I guess? I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. I have never been over there. Uh Oh. Hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? Well, yeah, but Okay. Um I swear there's zoom and pass. Okay, well then. Can I go up here? Yeah, okay. Hmm, this should be the place. Oh, was this always closed off? That's why I couldn't. I think that's what happened. Okay. Anyway. Frog catch. <sighs> Thank you. I know you. You were the ones we saw. Yeah. <laughs> You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough with the theatrics. What'd you say? All those rumors about cannibals and hidden rules were started by you, weren't they? Wait, really? Yeah. So what if they were? If you push us... We can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. What's over here? Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's something calling me. I have to go. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Wait, they're for twos? Hey, do you know our boss? Yeah, Child Tarta Tartalia. One of... Yeah, yeah. Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I'm a friend of his who came here to learn what happened to him. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow. Those dreams of yours sure come in handy. Sure does. We gave him the business for a while, and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. Yeah, that sounds about him. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. Harbinger leader coming in clutch. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day... He suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work, and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, I see. Oh! 
Thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. Oh, I it see. It leads to an abandoned factory area. And even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. Oh, and that's why people and think, okay. And if he okay. wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Or something else, for sure. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Right, that's what I'm saying. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. That's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. Can you take us there? We want to go to the spot where he left. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Okay, where are we going? Not that way. This way. Fascinating. And this is still part one, the by way the way. The from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Well, how would he breathe? He would eventually, like uh... We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! Are, is she talking about Friminette? That's the only person that makes sense. We finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Yeah, and where is he? We've seen Linny and Lynette, but not Fremine yet. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Oh, speaking of, I was just talking about that. How it's still part three. Uh, it's morning already? Let's use some coupons to skip our shift this morning. Let's take the morning off. Huh? Wait, look over there! Isn't that... It's one of Linny's cards! You're right, it's been a while since we've contacted him. Let Paimon see what's written on it! Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. Convenient! It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. He did not fit all that in that tiny card. You're Ooh, lying to me. Today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. I'm sure there's a lot of people running around cataclysms quickening all right let's continue on shall we 
Uh, are we going down here? You shouldn't okay, see great. Me like God this. bless it, game. Why do you do this? Look, there are some people talking over there. Let's listen in on the conversation. If you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. We're marked for life. I could see that happening. Uh, I don't buy that. Hey, how cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> so, okay, so there's overworld and underworld and they don't get along. And what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? <laughs> it's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Yeah, I was just pointing that out. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. Is it only something the inmates down here say? I think you're right. It's normal for convicts to be unhappy. That's true. Okay, great game. You really... Oh, hey, I can use this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's a lot of people out and about. Makes sense. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. I mean, listen, we didn't have to interrupt you. You could have kept going, okay? <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! <laughs> Your expressions tell uh, me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Wait, what? Really? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Oh, I Practically see. Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. Oh, it was just a little mistake. A little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's good just to know. That our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. So, you two really like to gossip? Whew, you sure know how to embellish. I mean, that's that's what sells the info. No, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Oh, my Archon, I'd love to know. Please tell me. Sure, fill us in. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. <laughs> the welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. We ate the most incredible welfare meal re recently. Right, right. That 
that meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I see. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. You are correct. <laughs> I am a true professional. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I even went to culinary school. Oh, but nice, actually. That. Since you like my cooking, I guess that means we share similar tastes. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Listen, kids. The power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. They kind of... I would assume they forget y'all exist. You kind of are out of sight, out of mind. You've already met the one person here you should never cross. The Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks. Even better treatment in the infirmary. Oh, good to know, actually. I know who you mean. It's that Jurier character, right? I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? There's oh. no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Uh, interesting. According to Quistot, I forget how they pronounce that name already. A person named Jer frequently, or oh, frequents the infirmary. I should take note of this. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by the corridor with Lorveen. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorveen's also quite the odd one, you know? She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it, I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Hmm. Huh. Wait a second. You don't think. Wait, why? Do you think it, could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. After all, I do remember seeing Lorveen beat Jerry to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. Perhaps. Had a confrontation with a girl named Lorveen, who also frequently visits the infirmary. I'll remember that too. Okay, good to know. I guess. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, this thing. Wait, what? For another mystic? Wait, what? No way. I'm maxed out. Is that even possible? Wait, 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 wait. Where's that at? I don't even know where that would be at. What do you mean? Uh, I'll figure it out later. Cause there's no way 10,000 is a max, right? Well, actually, hold on. I think some items max out at nine, 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 nine. So perhaps, listen, I don't upgrade hey, weapons. You over there. There's no point. Who me? Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? Even people down here play that game? I, how did you even get cards? You TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? 
No thanks, we're busy with other things at the moment. Ah, uh, all right. No pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? Uh, card fights, okay? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing yeah, punches, that's what it's I mean. all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Would you mind chatting with us for a moment? Sure. Great! Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Uh, just pick one. Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Yeah, we heard like three. Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? You mean those two? Yeah, so you've already met those two. Yeah. <laughs> They're quite a pair. They always keep an eye out for the latest happenings and gossip about everything. I've never seen anyone with more time on their hands. I heard that they used to be a chef and a bartender before they were sent down here. You know how bartenders are, always chatting with customers. I mean, and customer chefs service. Love to pass the time just hanging out when they're not cooking. Hmm, good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm, let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh, did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the Fortress of Meripede before? I don't think we knew that. Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. Yeah, really. Go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. By the way, do you happen to know anything about a forbidden zone? A forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm, not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. Okay, great. Well, at least he's not asking for coupons. Everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. Well, we'll go to the production zone to see Lenny in the next episode. Until then, later.